I can see that once I start to get winds that maintain like 8 to 10 miles per hour, I can see this turbine is going to be generating me like 2 to 4 amps, somewhere in between there, which is real bloody good, you know, in my mind, at those speeds, you know, from 8 to 10. I just, I can't wait to see a sustained win at 12 and see what this thing gives me. And see if the other one gives me anything. Because as you can see, it hasn't given anything yet. And it is spinning. You know, it's catching wind and it is spinning. And it, I, I understand it's not in the clear like the Thermodyne is now, but it had two months up in the clear. And I watched it closely. And the PMG did not give me any current until over 12. And that's just my results of what I saw. You know, somebody might say, well, you need it 60 feet in the air, and you can't have anything around it, and bull crap. Mine's 30 feet in the air. Where it is, my wind comes from the south, southeast, or southwest, and I have clear view. There are no houses, no trees, no nothing around at 30 feet in the air in those directions. So, again, these are the results that I see. This one's in the exact same place, and it's spinning and giving me current at 6, even 5.4. It was still giving me a little bit, 0.03, but hey, still giving me some. But this has been interesting watching this one. Because I did the same thing with the PMG. I would sit here, I had a camera on it, and while I'm watching TV, I'd be looking over and then I'd review what it recorded and and it was like nothing until over 12. So, but to tell you guys, this little fan that I put on this inverter has done the trick because I don't think you're going to hear it kick on with maybe once this entire time. So putting that little USB 5-volt fan pointed at the back of this thing where the powers come out, there's a few vent holes, there's like three or four with slots, you know, in it. Forcing this air into there and out through the back has stopped this fan from kicking on. And right now I'm drawing like 30 amps. I'm pulling about 350 watts or something. So I pull about 30 amps. But I see the wind has calmed back down, so I'll probably go back and stop the recording until I see the winds pick back up again. Now we're, we're having a little bit of a thunderstorm right now. So the winds are kicking up. You can see they're up to like 9.8. And I mean, I've gotten 8 amps off of this thing at 9.8 and look at this thing going right now the winds at 14 amps on that thing at 12 oh man 12.4 where the other one just starts up and gives me a little bit of current this one was giving me 14 amps there's 11 amps unbelievable this is this is fantastic, Thermodyne. Uh, this is this is just fantastic. I, I can't believe the numbers I'm seeing right now, but seeing is believing. So this thing is uh, going to generate me a lot of power come 
in the fall, in winter, in spring. Uh, I mean, 14 amps at 12.4. <laughs> that's that's pretty doggone good. 14 amps at 12, basically 12 mile per hour. The other one, uh, I haven't seen that kind of current out of the other one ever, ever, ever. The most I've ever seen out of that other one was six for just a few seconds. And now this one, these are numbers to write home about. <laughs> so you guys are getting a real treat here today as you're getting to see low wind numbers and then you got to see some numbers off this thing with little higher winds. Yeah, the winds now kick back, but just imagine if this thing maintained 10 to 12 mile per hour winds for a day, how many amps that thing would be generating and how much charge I'd get on my batteries. It would outlast my solar. <laughs> That's for sure.